So and welcome to another video here on mining. This one's going to be show you how to use EtherMiner on Windows 10. I'm using a 1070 here. I'm going to show you where to get the EXE, how the fat file works, or what you need to create, and how to get yourself started mining. What you'll also need though is to create a wallet, my Ether wallet. I'll put the link in the description for you to be able to start getting funds transferred to you while you mine. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this URL at the top here on GitHub. So I'll put the link in the description. And for Windows, you're going to need to download this EtherMiner 0.12.0. So the latest version. Using WinRAR, we're going to extract that. It's going to give you EtherMiner. I've already got mine there. I'm not going to uh, change it. So once you've got that, you put it on a location on your C drive or desktop, wherever you want. And we're going to create the bat file. And this is the bat file that I've got here. So you can ignore this piece at the start. I just titled the mining window. And that's so I can use some automation to close it or alert me that it's closed down. And then it will tell me and I can go back and reset the miner from away from my PC. Obviously, this is just the command to reset um, DOS to the C drive. Let me show you. So Windows Administrator. And then we just type CD slash. Basically says it's a C prompt. This next line here basically you'll need is um, the location on your C drive. This could be anything on yours. This is basically this part of my C drive here. Where this file is located, so C, and I've got mine under here, EtherMiner. This is what this location is here. You'll need to set that. These are the two commands that you'll need, and then you need to set these parameters within the batch file. Now these have been preset for me. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they've been working for me. This is on the latest one, um, and these were added. I didn't have these before. And feel free to put in the comments what they actually do. I haven't changed them. I've thought these as default. And I'll put a link to the back file as well in the description. This is the bit that I'm more interested in. So you need to type ether.exe. And I'm going to be using somewhere called ethermine. So let me show you where that is as well. This is a pool that I use to mine because solo GPU mine at the moment for ether is not really worth it. And you're better off mining in a pool. And then you need to follow these commands. So you need 200, which is kind of like a, another parameter. Um, U means I'm not using... So sometimes it can be dash G. I use dash U here because I'm using um, CUDA rather than um, the normal graphics, open CL, I think it is. You need dash S and then you need your two basically uh, failover servers. So you get your first EtherMiner, which is EU because I'm in the EU, then FS and then US1 org, and that's the secondary server, and then dash zero. Then I've got my key my, for my Ether wallet where my funds get transferred a decimal place and then I put in the name of the GPU miner basically that tells me what the miner's doing here this site was pretty good for helping me set some of this stuff up it was telling me what was uh, how to do it down here under the how to connect so you can see here I've got the parameters set and then you've got this piece of the string here which I basically copied and then I put in my rig name and my ether address which is all you need to do there are some different servers here if you're in a different part of the country obviously I'm in the UK and that's what ether miner You've got Claymore Miner down here, which I don't use because it can be, it takes a percentage from your mining, but it can say, well, the, and they say you can optimize it, but I use Ether Miner. These are the settings I'm using at the moment. So let me fire up the miner. So you run your batch file and you see here that it's fired up. Tells you what's going on. It says here on the left it's using CUDA, like I said. And off we go. So it should start to rise to around 30 mega hash per second here. And now we're mining. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments if you want me to show you something else to do with mining. Until then, see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.